hello, Wendy with an eye here. It is a Saturday, August 3rd, 2024, and I'm going to do some puzzling. I know it's been a while since I've been on here, <laughs> but I started cleaning my office out today and I got inspired. You guys, I found some miniature puzzles. There are 150 pieces each that I purchased more than three years ago in the rental house with miniature easels so I can glue them and put them on little easels and I'll show you. They were just in a drawer in there in my office when I opened it. I discovered them and so yeah I'm pretty inspired. So there's going to be puzzle content coming at you because I also need to finish from years ago started puzzling the smaller Thomas Kincaid puzzles and framing some of them and I still have four of those frames left. So yeah, so those puzzles are gonna be coming at you too because I'm going to finish puzzling the ones I want in frames and get them in the frames since I have all of that. But today, I'm gonna be doing these tiny miniature puzzles. Let me show you. So here they are. And I don't know why I never did this, but they're 150 pieces each. I believe I got these from Amazon, but it's been a while. Like I said, it's been years over three years, but these are like the Van Gogh art prints, like the Starry Night and then the Starry Night over the water one and sunflowers. So tiny mini puzzles and hopefully my old 40 something eyes can see these little pieces. We'll see how this goes. And then here's the little easels. <laughs> what you guys, why are small things so fun and why did I never do this? Who can know? But we're about to get after this. But I wanna do a little behind the scenes for you right quick and then we'll start on this project. Behind the scenes here, this is where I do my puzzle operations now. I am in the living room. If you hear a little bit of background noise going on, that is because our air decided to go out today. <laughs> and we have these portable air conditioners going and they are working hard. It is. 100 degrees today so yeah that's lovely but hey at least we're all doing well there's miss ellie the whole reason i moved my puzzle table out here out of my office is her her gets sad if mom's in there and she doesn't want to be in there she's only in there for work and she doesn't understand what we're doing otherwise when we're not working so yeah, back over to here. Oh, we have a towel under the door there to keep the cool air in that room. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. All right, so we're gonna get to working on these little mini puzzles. Let's do this.
it is now a Sunday, August the 4th. I finished puzzling the sunflowers and did the starry night over the water this morning because I ate. Last night I stopped and ate and then I just decided I would pick it up this morning because I just wanted to have couch cuddles with Ellie after that. But Ellie and I have been in the swimming pool all day because as you know, our air conditioner is out. So hopefully they get that fixed tomorrow. So I'm still in my swimsuit and probably looking like a hot mess express, but that's okay. I'm getting ready to get in the shower after this. But having said that, I didn't finish puzzling until this morning. So I didn't glue them till this morning and we've been out there uh, swimming. So they're not completely dry, but one is dry enough for me to show you. Hopefully I don't mess it up. But it's the sunflowers one. And if my fingers look gross, you guys pay no attention. I, I've been swimming in the pool and messing in my garden. That's what I do when I'm outside. So I might have gardener hands, which I normally always do because I'm always digging in my garden, but this is the sunflowers one. I'll put them all on their easels and put a clip in at the end of this video. But look, look at it on the easel. Why are small things so fun, you guys? Look. <laughs> this is so cute. I wanted to show you. It's a postcard on the back. So these are postcard puzzles. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, probably shouldn't be getting this one off. I might have to re-glue it, but isn't that cute? So they're definitely, they're postcard puzzles. So isn't that neat? Because I was showing that they were the size of a postcard on my Instagram stories. And I used, of course, Pluto and Goofy, but they literally are the size of a postcard. So this is a postcard and it's the exact size. And then when I flipped this over, I realized it's a postcard. So anyway, my little tiny Van Gogh art pieces on the little easels are cute. <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> and to glue them, you may have saw in the clip below, which I'm probably gonna set to music, so I'm not talking in it. I decided not to use this because the pour was gonna be too big to go on those tiny puzzles. So I had this that I picked up at the craft store Mm, probably more than a year ago, but it has just a little squirt thing. So that was easier for these smaller puzzles. What I liked about these puzzles, it was fun. It was fun. So this would be a good gift for those in your life that like jigsaw puzzles. What I didn't like about them, the pieces are so small. They're no bigger than this dime. They're just a little bit smaller than this dime. Here, we'll pick this back up. And I'll show you again while I'm on here live. There we go. So as you can see, so sometimes they were hard for my fingers to pick up. So that's the only thing I didn't like. The other thing I didn't like is it doesn't stay together well while you're puzzling it. So if you put, you know, the wrong piece in and you try to yank it out, <laughs> you'll mess up the puzzle, which I did several times doing these. But that's okay. The absolute joy of the miniatures outweighs any of the cons there could be. So I'm just saying, if you're thinking about gift ideas or just for yourself, because I want these, I will be displaying these, they're cute. So these get a yes from me in the fun and cute category. My next puzzle I think is going to be Winnie the Pooh. So stay tuned. I'm not sure if I'll be able to start working on it this week. because As most of you know that already follow me, I have a career. So, but I'm going to see if I can start getting into that and start that video. But if not, I'll probably have it up next week. Again, more puzzle content coming at you when I can get to it. Well, I'm just going to bid you adieu from here. It's time to get out of this swimsuit and into the shower. But the next clip is going to be them all dried and on their easel so you can see how it turned out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having the best day. Thank you so much for watching. Be sweet. Well, here they are drying. I had to add a little bit more glue to this one because it kind of came apart when I was showing you. Got some on my poster board, but that's okay. But yes, I will show you when they are completely dry and on their easels and being displayed so you can see. But I wanted to show you where the camera was just sitting for me to do talk to you just now on top of these puzzles right here. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to show you because this is what's coming up. 
yes, this old box here, if you've been following along, you know this one is framed and this one is framed. And you also know this one was missing and I had to get a bigger one of this, but this, the bigger one of this puzzle is already framed, but it's this one that's left in the box. That's Peter Pan. So I definitely have to have Peter Pan in my life, but it's not gonna be the next one I puzzle. But I definitely have to have Wendy, right? Can't have Wendy with an I and not have Wendy from Peter Pan, even though her name is spelt with a Y. But this is the one I'm getting ready to do next, and it's Winnie the Pooh. Just because it's so bright and fun and cheery, and Pooh is just everything, and my daughter has an affinity for Pooh. So it's the next on my list for my Disney Thomas Kincaid puzzles. So that's the one I'm gonna be doing, because we all, life is hard, and we all need fun and cute in our lives. So I really, really like that one. I'm looking forward to it. We puzzled it a long time ago in the past, so in this box. It's actually in a freezer bag, but I will show you my office in the next video when we get started on Winnie the Pooh, just so you can see my puzzles hanging in the new office now. But that's it. The next clip will be showing you these guys all displayed.